Welcome to GardenWise Adventures. My name is Malie and today we've got a lot of interesting things that are going on. We've got several projects. Let me show you what the first one is. So today is a bittersweet day. These, it's kind of hard to see behind or in front of the cottonwood trees, but these are my aspen trees. I live in Utah. We've got the Rocky Mountains right there, and we've got my aspen trees. Now I did not plant these. These were in my, on my property when I first moved in here. Now I'll see if I can find a picture of what this hillside looked like when I moved in here in I think it was 2006, no, it was 2007. And they were small and I should have taken them out then. But you know, the white bark, the golden foliage in the fall, even though I knew the, the pitfalls of having aspen trees, I just didn't take them out until now. And that was my fault. And part of the reason I'm taking these out is I have a very sweet neighbor who I love very much, who when I told her my plans to that I was thinking about taking them out. She jumped for joy and cheered and I realized they're getting all my aspen saplings. Uh, these trees throw roots all the way up under my deck. So this is, it, it's necessary. It should have happened a long time ago. So who do we have here? We have wonderful Dan the tree man. Dan the tree man. Yes. You saw a little bit of footage of him uh, taking down the first ones. He's really good at what he does. Oh, the first two. So let's go look and see what it looks like. <clears throat> Move out of the way here. See, he has a wonderful helper here. But Beautiful it's, here. yes, that's Dan's wife. I forget her name. Ah, Stigglebrit. <laughs> oh my word. And you put up with this. This is Tony. Tony, okay. <laughs> Yes, it's great to have her here. And we did poison the aspens beforehand. Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. And as you can see, you know, we've got the, the flower buds starting, but the leaves are black. Yay. Yay. So it started the damage. So we'll get these taken down and then I'll show you the other projects that I'm going to be doing. The second sadness that happened is with all my talk of watering trees throughout the winter, during our dry winter, and taking care of trees, I did not take care of my redbud. Fully one half, you know, I'll show you a picture of what it looked like before. I had two stems that came up out of the ground. Fully half of it completely died to the ground. Luckily, we have buds coming out on this side. So part of my task today is to get the junipers away from the trunk. And we had some heavy rainfall, so it has been watered, but I need to watch this tree and make sure that it gets watered during our dry winters. So it sounds like Dan's getting ready to start. Let's go watch him take down the next tree.
So here we go. Here's the new view of my property without the aspen trees. And I'm going to sit with it for about a year and see if I really actually want to plant anything else up there. Maybe a ginkgo or something. Let's kind of go up here and show you what the stumps look like. There's a view of the stumps, duly poisoned with Roundup, so that will uh, hopefully stop some of the shoots. I'll poison them again in a little bit and poison any stumps that I see come up. Here's the other side, open and clear. He also pruned my jujube. So, I showed you what it, what it looked like before and what it looked like after. See behind me the damage that he did? It was beautiful damage. Needed damage. I love it. And he got out of here taking those trees down without crushing another plant. There's not a broken branch on any other plant that needs to stay alive. Except for maybe one critter. Yeah, so if you need your trees pruned and you're in Utah, specifically Utah County, I think that's all I can. Okay, Utah County, Salt Lake County, that area. 